This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Unfortunately for the ants, overground swarms of parasitic forehead flies are beginning to hatch. Leafcutter innards provide perfect incubation chambers for the young of these insidious insects. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched.
The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Unfortunately for the ants, overground swarms of parasitic forehead flies are beginning to hatch. Leafcutter innards provide perfect incubation chambers for the young of these insidious insects. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched.
The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another Atta colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. As the sun sets below the horizon, and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. These rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the European Devil's Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same carnivorous appetite, razor-sharp pincers, and most importantly, a fearsome final form.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. A young velvet worm, Oroperipatis ecuadoriensis, is lurking over ground. These ancient mysterious predators are masters of ambush. They creep toward their unwitting victims silently on soft hollow legs. Once in range, they squirt oscillating streams of slime, forming a wide net that entraps their prey. There are intruders in the nest. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest.
A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva.
Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. The ants must fight. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end.
These leaves are contested. The leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked, but tonight there is too much at stake. Only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. The ants have disturbed the nest of a fully grown Phanolinus oratus rove beetle. Its hardened armor and defensive secretions make it a formidable opponent for even the largest of the leaf cutters. It will take significant numbers to subdue it effectively. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. And when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. A fully developed velvet worm measuring a titanic seven centimeters in length has come face to face with the ants. Only a coordinated, multi-pronged effort by the soldiers will be effective in subduing this mammoth predator. Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. The opposing Atta colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage ripe for the picking.
The ants must fight. The leafcutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. The leaf cutters have clashed northeast of the nest. The hillside at a colony is falling behind. With their demise at hand, they have no choice but to strike back at their opponent. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing lava. The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the clearing. As the competition withers, they will extend their territory in all directions, firmly establishing their agricultural empire. One day this colony will number in the millions.
Eat hearty. Grow strong. The work will continue soon. Hello? Shh, shh. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Is something wrong? No. They're about to start the Glaber Trials at Site B. Are you coming? Oh, uh, uh... So, my enduring raptors, we've witnessed your proficiency for resisting natural predators, but what about the unnatural? After all, our work with the counterparts barely scratched the surface. Even on incompatible subjects, the effects of the jelly are remarkable. It may not look very pretty, nor indeed live longer than a day, but for our purposes, it's perfect. May I present to you my most armoured hybrid, the Hermit Scorpion. Like water on rock, the Eruptors crash against the hybrid. How many will fall? Perhaps them all. The Erectors attack the shell! Do they not know what lies within? Yes! The stinger opens and it's functional! Go, my furious hybrid! Spike me and spike them! Hermit Scorpion. Hmm. It sounded better in my head. No matter. Every stimulation spurs the permutations. Perhaps a more elaborate test to follow. Something to provoke a creative response. Now, do we want raptorial forelegs or pedipalps? Forelegs or pedipalps? Ah, oh, silly me. We want both, of course. Hmm. No, don't do that. That's your sister. No, no, no. Right, we're keeping you two apart. Oh, what's the matter, my raptors? Is the whip mantis being nasty? Only one remains. Kill it. Get on with it. Get on with it.
Wonderful! Both champions bested! The caustic scent of Himalim filling the arena. <laughs> Can you smell it? What's going on in there? Uh, Open the door! What's she doing back? We need more time. I'm sorry, there's been a containment of uh, con contamination. What are you talking about? Said the spider to the fly. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings? How brilliant are your eyes? Where's your hand, that suit? There's no contamination. Yes, yes, in. contamination, yes. And it lives. Uh, I have to say, I do my best work under pressure. In you go. <laughs> Open the door this instant, or I'll have you escorted from the building. Open the door, no problem. I'm on my way. <laughs> right, that's it. Can I have a security team on the sixth floor, please? It's using its wings. Incredible. <laughs> Oh, it does seem a little slow to react. Perhaps we served a few too many synapses. Have you noticed that, my raptor? and that man removed immediately. Why must they constantly disrupt our work? You deal with the hybrid. I'll buy some more time. Mm, this should do it. What was that? Drive to my help on sixth, please. There's a situation developing here. Hurry now. Not much time. Oh, if only we could finish now, but we must be patient. You'll have to stay in here for now where they won't find you. Don't give up. I'll be back soon. What is the meaning of this? Get him out of here. It's okay. I just need to escort you off site. Absolutely unacceptable. You'll be hearing from my union representative. Okay, don't say. Touch me. Sorry. That is the salt, my friend. Oh, I hope those cameras are recording. Come on. You're all in trouble. What was he up to? There's nothing untoward here. Why did he lock the door? <laughs> 